I really didn't want to talk about what I'm about to talk about, but the BBC has forced my hand by posting an inane video by Johan Hari uh, promoting his newest book in which he argues that antidepressants are essentially useless and that we should ditch our pills in favor of a global societal change. I didn't want to talk about it for several personal reasons. For a start, I've met Hari and I always liked him, even begrudgingly after his plagiarism scandal broke. Uh, For years, I thought he was a smart, thoughtful writer who covered important topics from a humanist viewpoint. Then some people discovered that he had been stealing quotes that his interview subjects said elsewhere and reporting them as though they had been spoken to Hari in his interview. He did it so often that he was fired from several jobs, I think, uh, lost his Orwell Prize, basically became persona non grata in the English intellectual scene for several years. I was kind of still rooting for him because I guess I just, I thought he was a nice person who made a stupid mistake and that he could come back with a better set of ethical standards. Unfortunately, I was stupid and wrong. I apologize. Um, The other reason I didn't really want to talk about this topic is because I am biased in favor of antidepressants. Uh, I've been on an anti-anxiety slash antidepressant called escitalopram for several years now, and it literally changed my life, maybe saved my life. Uh, A doctor suggested it back when I was in the midst of elevator gate, when I was just being continually harassed every single day, all day long, uh, online, in person. I was really skeptical about going on a daily medication. I asked the doctor if I could just have some Xanax or something to deal with the occasional freak out. But he insisted that we try this instead. Uh, So we did. And what I found was that yes, it made me feel better about the nonstop harassment. But it also changed things that I didn't even realize were wrong. Uh, For instance, I used to have nights where I would just lay in bed quietly freaking out for hours about the fact that we're all going to die one day. After the medication, that stopped. Uh, I had assumed that it was just the human condition and not an actual problem that could be solved. But with the medication, I would still have those thoughts, but then I wouldn't uh, obsess about those thoughts for hours. And my brain could then just move on and think about more pleasant topics and I could get to sleep. Uh, So my brain was clearly broken, but I couldn't realize it until it was fixed because my brain was broken. I was using that brain to decide whether it was broken or not. It's tough. Um, So the chemistry was wrong. And uh, yes, outside circumstances like elevator gate made things much, much worse. But even when things were going great, I had depression and anxiety, and my doctor realized that. Along with prescribing the drug, he did strongly suggest that I quit my job which I told him was not possible. So now Johan Hari is back and he has written a book about how we don't need psychiatric drugs like mine. He even slid into my DMs uh, to ask me to promote his book. And I didn't respond because I had already heard friends whispering about what a complete mess this book was. I was hoping that Hari would just sort of fade away again, uh, but his relentless publicizing of his book has led to celebrities retweeting him into my feed, the BBC World Service making this little viral video just for him. So here we are. Hari's claims can be broken down into two categories, Uh, things he's right about, but the entire world already knew, and things he's wrong about. For an example of the former, he says that antidepressants don't work for everyone. Uh, Yeah, that's a fact. Scientists aren't even completely sure how they work, and the drug that changed my life might not do anything at all for you. Literally everyone in medicine already knows this. Your doctor will tell you this. It's why finding the right drug for you can often involve some pretty painful trial and error. Then there are the things that Hari just gets wrong. Uh, He says that doctors treat depressed depressed patients as though there's only one menu item, drugs. And it's not true at all. Any decent doctor will tell you that there are ways to ease depression and anxiety that don't involve drugs. In my personal example, my doctor told me to quit my job, but also to make sure I was exercising every day and not drinking too much. 
My current psychiatrist recommended I get a dog, which I did, and I made a video about it. It's improved my life drastically. Uh, Sure, those are just my anecdotes, but they reflect reality. You can go to the websites of NHS, CDC, the Mayo Clinic, all major medical organizations, government-run and otherwise, recommend lifestyle changes to help in depression and anxiety, often before or in addition to medication. This isn't some grand secret that Hari has uncovered. Yet he has the audacity to say things like, and this is a direct quote, if your baby dies at 10 a.m., your doctor can diagnose you with a mental illness at 10.01 a.m. and start drugging you straight away. No, that's, there are absolutely no circumstances under which grieving for one minute would lead to a diagnosis of depression and a prescription for antidepressants, not under any circumstances that anywhere near reality. So Hari is wrong and he's dangerously wrong. When pressed, he might say that he doesn't want people to just throw away their medication. But in practice, that's what's going to happen when you pretend to be a scientist and you tell people that their doctors are against them and that their medications are useless. He's going to get people killed. And outlets like the BBC are helping him do it. Please don't promote this horrible nonsense.